Today, I will provide you with an overview of the approach and skills we teach in the ADA evidence-based dentistry training programs. Let me start by noting the basic motivation that led to the development of evidence-based dentistry. In 2001, the Institute of Medicine published their review of the American healthcare system, wherein they concluded that major problems existed in how care was being delivered in the United States. The basic premise of the IOM report was that in America, the health care that patients receive should be based on the best relevant scientific knowledge. However, presently, we are falling far short of that goal. They went on to say that much of delivered health care actually harms patients or fails to deliver its potential benefit. And they characterized the U.S. health care as suffering from three main features, the overuse of treatments that are known not to provide patient benefit, the underuse of treatments known to be helpful to patients, and the misuse or misapplication of treatment that led to patients receiving less than the full potential benefit of treatment. In the 1990s, Dr. David Sackett and Gordon Guyatt and others developed an approach to the delivery of healthcare that emphasized the use of current best evidence in the treatment of every patient. This came to be known as evidence-based medicine and was defined as the conscientious, explicit, and judicious use of current best evidence in making decisions about the care of individual patients. The EBM approach they developed relied on three essential features. Any treatment provided to a patient should be based on an understanding of the current best evidence interpreted by the physician or dentist using his or her expert clinical judgment, and ultimately based on each patient's specific needs and preferences. The use of this approach in clinical practice became known as the individual patient care model and functions as follows. A dentist, during the treatment of a patient and based on his or her expert clinical judgment, encounters circumstances that suggest that more information may be of benefit in making a final decision about the best approach to care for this patient. Once the question is clearly framed, the next step is to search for information that answers that question. Searching quickly and efficiently for relevant evidence is a basic EBD skill taught in our introductory EBD training courses. Often, such searches lead to retrieving several sources of evidence, and a quick assessment will suggest which evidence is of the highest quality. Finally, the best evidence can then be used to inform treatment planning and should be used in a conversation with the patient on what treatment options would be best and lead to the most desirable outcomes of care. The ability to quickly search for high-quality evidence and evaluate evidence quality in direct support of treatment decisions is a basic skill required and can be learned in any basic EBD training program. Let's quickly review these basic EBD skills. The rapidly changing areas of clinical practice requires us to be on top of current issues and evidence. To that end, EBD asks dentists to be curious about what new developments are happening that may impact patient care, and how employing these new developments can be used to optimize care. This curiosity leads to the dentist asking questions about what is the current best evidence related to potential new therapies or new approaches to diagnosis. It can also lead to questions that can help inform patients about their prognosis or possible harms that may be experienced from various approaches to treatment. Efficiently retrieving the relevant information needed to answer such questions can easily be learned. With the ongoing expansion of online resources, searching and retrieving evidence is now easier than ever. EBD training programs will help dentists understand where high-quality evidence is located and how to quickly access that information. The general approach is to search several well-regarded online sites that maintain high-quality clinical evidence and feature easy-to-use search engines. Of course, not all evidence available online is of equal quality, so EBD emphasizes as a core skill three dimensions that contribute to evidence quality and determine its value in patient care. To say that evidence is valid means that the evidence based on high quality science and the results and conclusions offered are true. In other words, did the investigators who conducted the study and created the evidence use the most appropriate methods ensuring adequate control for bias and other issues that will prevent spurious conclusions? Once it can be determined that evidence is valid, the next question one should ask is, does this evidence apply to my patients? This requires a dentist to make an informal assessment of things such as how similar are the patients in this study to my patients? And is the severity of the disease found in the patients in the study similar to the ones that I treat? Once the relevance of the evidence to one's own patients is determined, the final question one needs to consider is, if I adopt this approach to care, will it likely lead to better outcomes for my patients? 
In other words, if I use this treatment or diagnostic technique, will it offer a substantial clinical benefit compared to other treatment options or even to no treatment? Most high-quality evidence summarizes the benefits that various treatments offer and allows a dentist to quickly make such a determination. Once valid, relevant, and important evidence is obtained, the dentist can then take that information into consideration when developing treatment options and provide the basis for discussion and informed consent with the patient when ultimately arriving at an approach to care. The ultimate goal of an evidence-based approach to practice is to make sure that we as dentists are basing our decisions about patient care on the best available evidence and with an understanding that in so doing we are improving the likelihood that our patients will enjoy the best possible outcomes from the treatment we provide. For more EBD information, visit ebd.ada.org.